Our story today is I like pigs. Now, when I was growing up, we had pigs, and I did not like pigs. They were stinky. You didn't play with them. My dad said, don't ever, ever, ever get in the pen with them. He said, their teeth are very sharp. They can bite your leg off. So, but they stink. Ugh. But he said, be very, very careful around the pigs. And we kept them in the barn so the stink didn't get everywhere and bother everybody, right? Mm -hmm. But before school in the morning, I would go out and feed the pigs and feed the goats and feed the little baby calves, feed the calves and feed, we had rabbits. I'd feed the animals before I went to school. Mm -hmm. That was my job. Feed them and carry water out to the barn for them. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so here's our story. Okay, our long vowel sound. I'm going to read all the way through the story. And then we'll talk about it at the end, okay? So here we go. I like pigs. My name is Mike. I like the cats and dogs God made. I like the hens and ducks and geese he made. But I like the pigs the best. My pet pig is fat and sleek. He likes to lie in the mud. He will not get stuck in the mud. He just has fun in it. He likes to play and play. I made my pig a fine pig pen. I got a pail to feed him. He eats husks and grain. He digs up nuts. My pig is not a neat pet, but he is mine, and I like him. I am glad God made pigs. That's our story. Okay, so let's talk about our story about the pig. Okay, so here we go. First word is my, remember? Those short words ending in Y, make the Y say its name, my. Okay, there we go. Name is Mike. I like the cats and dogs God made. I like the hens, remember hens are gallinas, and ducks and geese. Okay, geese. Geese are gonzos. One gun, if we have one gun, so it is called a goose. The goose is like the gaina. The, the gallo is called a gander. We have a goose and a gander. But most people just call it, they don't know which is which, so they just call it a goose. If you have one goose, but you have two, three, four, five, or whatever, geese. We have some words like that, like one mouse, two mice. Mm -hmm. But we have one house and two houses. Why they go that way? I don't know, which makes English kind of hard sometimes. But anyway, back to our goose. One goose, two geese. Okay, so we have two gonzos or three gonzos. Or, anyway, the, boys, the boy likes, the boy, Mike, right? That's his name. Mike likes gonzos, but they're not his favorite. He may, but I like pigs the best. Okay, my pet pig is fat and sleek, sleek. That means kind of smooth, not fat and ugly. He's fat, but he's kind of cool looking, right? He's cool looking, not the big, nasty, ugly ones, like the big poppy. Now, when he's big and all grown up, he'll be fat and ugly and nasty. But right now, he's just cute and fat, right? Sleek, okay? He likes to, oh, I forgot that word right there. Next one. He likes to lie. Okay, lie means to lay down. That's another one of those funny words. If you lay down, you then if you're already there, you say you lie there. Weird, weird, weird. English had some really weird things. And even kids in English have to stop and say, is it lay, is it lie? And we have to learn them 
when we are in English class, okay? But that's, it just means to lay, he's laying there, okay? He's laying down, okay? He likes to lie in the mud. He will not get stuck in the mud. Mm -mm, pigs don't get stuck. Do you know why pigs like the mud? I told you this before, but I'll tell you again. It's because when you are hot, you sweat. Ugh. Wet, stinky. Pigs do not do that, okay? If you go like this and lick your arm and then blow on it, it feels cool. God made you that way. So when you sweat, you're all wet. And then if, if there's any air at all, then it'll cool you down. But pigs don't do that. And so they go in the mud, and they roll around in the mud to get wet, and then when they're wet, then they cool down. Okay? That's why they do that. Okay, so, but he doesn't get stuck in the mud. But the bad thing about pig mud is that you want to stay away from it, because you know how they make their mud a lot of times? They pee in the dirt. They pee in the dirt, and then they roll around in their pee. And that is nasty, and it spreads a lot of diseases and dirt. And so you need to stay away from where pigs are. And that's why you do not let pigs run around your yard, because um, they'll pee in it, and then you play in the dirt, and you get sick. You get sores all over. Little children that live next to me, they used to get sores all the time, because they let their pigs run wherever. The pigs peed and pooped everywhere. And then the children would play. In the dirt because children play in the dirt and then they get sore so stay away from pigs right anyway so here's our pig he just has fun in it he likes to oh, there's another word we missed oh, lost marker be right back found my marker okay he likes to Play. Remember that A-Y? A-Y. Makes the A say the same. He likes to play and play. I made my pig a fine pig pen. I got a pail. Do you know what a pail is? We call it a bucket. I'll go get mine from over there. Don't run away. Okay, this is a pail, okay? Your mama might have one for washing the floor, right? We call it either a bucket or a pail, okay? See how it pours. You can pour, okay? Yes, I use mine. For, I painted mine up all nice and pretty, right? Mm-hmm. So make a nice trash can. Okay, so I got a pail to feed him. He eats husks. Husks are, is my eats, okay? But that's the part, you know when you eat corn? You like corn on the cob? It's the part you throw away, the outside part, the leaves, the leaves on the outside, you throw that part away, right? Or if that part plus then the inside part, right? So if you eat what's left over in the middle, mm-hmm, that little bar in the middle, Right? Eat it all, and then this part left over, that is the husk. That and also the leaves outside. And a lot of people give them to pigs to eat. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, he eats husks and grain. He digs up nuts. Grain, grain is, is um, like little corn stuff, pig feed, right? Mm -hmm. There's the word my again. My pig is not a neat pet. Pigs are not neat. But he is mine and I like him. I am glad God made pigs. Okay, so there's our story for today. So what do you need to do? Take it back to the beginning of the video. Turn off the sound and... You read it, or you can read it along with me if you want, but you need to practice it so you can read it all by yourself. You can practice it today, you can practice it also tomorrow until you can re keep reading, until you can read it all through, all by yourself, okay? 
Yes, Miss Susan, I will read it so I can read it all by myself. Okay, you keep practicing today, tomorrow, whatever, until you can read it all by yourself. And we'll see you later.